we've got a different episode type of episode today. It's a short one um, for many reasons, really, that we can't really elaborate on them right now. Would you say? Things are happening mm -hmm. and are in motion. Uh, and we are working really hard on them. Things at BOGA will change in the next uh, foreseeable future. handful of periods of time. Uh, that's about as specific as I can get about when. And uh, our content will be a little different. Podcast will be very similar. Just say anything, the podcast will change. Maybe some slight changes. Um, but big things are coming. And so before we, you know, jump into things and want to let you know, uh, we're working hard on something right now. Uh, and the other thing I wanted to take a minute to talk about, okay. unless there's something else on your mind, you want really got to get off your chest before we, we jump into that other thing. No, go ahead. You've been doing all right lately. I'm doing good. You yeah. having a good week. I like your shirt. Show it off to the, uh, just, if you went to tech, you probably got the one. You have to, if you know, you know, if you know, you know, I don't know. That's I'm looking at it. Like that's me. Many, many others are probably rocking this shirt at some point. I was actually grouped up with a, a couple of guys who actually wore their tax shirt from last year no from that year they oh they like popped it on. Stripped down and threw it on and hell yeah started walking around it's like hey what's your i thought it was a national park shirt because usually no. that's like the shape of the the thing and then there's like a, a bison in there or something get it. everyone's going going after that patagucci type I know. look see yep yeah no that was cool i really uh maybe next year if i'm not camping it yeah, always you seems always like seem to be the to, case. That's my time. You always seem to be right, right in the midst of tack. You're gone, yeah, and every year you say, "I'm gonna go next year." Maybe I'm just scared of the competition, and I'm doing it on purpose. Like I don't want to embarrass myself. I'm just a bad <laughs> shot. <laughs> hey, sorry to interrupt right now, but we got to thank a few of these sponsors that help make this show and this type of content possible. So here it is. First up, Huntwise, our favorite phone app. You can get it on Android. You can get it on iPhone. It's the ultimate sportsman's app. It's got mapping, movement predictions, and social media content. So look them up on your app store, Google Play, or whatever kind of phone you have. Vortex Optics is some of the best optics in the world. All right, we use them all the time, not only if you're hunting, but I actually use it sometimes out on the golf range. And in the podcast range. And on the podcast. Uh, it's Wisconsin-based, so it's an American company. And also, they make a pretty slick clothing line. So if you want to save yourself 20% off on clothes like this, head over to their website and use the code BOGA20 for 20% off. Yeah, next up is Vector Custom Arrows. Um, it's an arrow company that we really love. Again, they're a Wisconsin company. You basically go to their website, you enter in your bow specs, and they create a custom, perfectly tuned arrow that fits your needs. Uh, it's a micro diameter. It's heavy hitting. We shoot them into tons of stuff. We don't break them very much. Um, and they're delivered right to your door. Check them out at VectorCustomArrows.com. All right. If you didn't know already, we are Michigan guys. So we like partnering with Michigan companies. So we are proud to announce that we are partnering with Prime Archery. And believe it or not, James, you're going to be shooting a uh, compound here. This I'm going to dabble. He's going to dabble in the uh, wheelie bow again so he we're both actually gonna be shooting the nexus bows that are brand new for 2021 you're four a nexus four i'm gonna be shooting the nexus two yep so if you guys haven't checked these bows out go take a look on their website they're awesome nano it, grip nano just grip. check it out the grip stays warm in your hand huge deal i get cold fingers um and, and i'm a big fan looking forward to it if you've been paying attention to the podcast and this show you know that we are big advocates of saddle hunting, and the best saddles that we like to use are the Trophy Line Tree Saddles. They are top-notch. They fit really well. They're very adjustable. Uh, we've actually used quite a bit of them, and we found that Trophy Line is our favorite mainly because of that. And if you guys think you want to get into the saddle game this year or if you're looking to upgrade your saddle, head over to their website, and you can save yourself 10% by using the big, long code BOGA Hunting TL 10 one word. One word, 10%. Go get yourself some discounts. We work with another amazing Michigan company, uh, Bivouac Boco, uh, the makers of some of the finest traditional archery equipment that we've had the chance to shoot. Um, I've been loving the mobility and the stability of their Backland bow, uh, shooting it for about a year and a half now. Huge fan. It's compact. It shoots like a longer recurve. If you want to get into traditional hunting, if you want to maybe upgrade the traditional setup you have, go to Bivouac Boco. Give them a call. Talk to Georgia. Talk to Jim, and they'll hook you up with um, something pretty special. 
we've all kind of been there. A few hard days in the woods, you're going to get a little sore. Things might, might not be feeling normal. That's where you can actually use something that's a pretty trendy product right now, and that's CBD. Uh, it's not cannabis, all right, so you're not going to be feeling all crazy. It's this hard is, to light. This is hemp extraction, I believe yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. It's and this is locally oil. sourced, so locally it's, it's sourced. pure and local. It's pretty much an oil with a dropper. You drop it on your knee and rub it in just like any other ointment. In or it. any other body part that might be hurting. Yikes. But we use it. It helps. You save yourself 10%. Go to their website. 20%. Yeah, 20%. 20%. Boga. Sorry. Boga 20. And now back to business. You got to look up here. And now back to business. You know what? I went with the guy who this was his first time really shooting past 30 yards yeah. in his backyard. And like the week before, I'm like, hey, the guy I was supposed to go with, uh, he can't make it. So a slot opened up. Do you want to go? And he's like, oh, what is it? So I told him. Well, Let me tell you what it is. Let me tell you. You know, I explained, you know, the courses and the ranges we'll be shooting at. And he went out that week and started practicing at like 60 yards. Just flinging it. Just did, he, flinging. did he have to make get a new pin or? Did no, he, he has got, he's got a, a five pin fix sight. And so he just 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. That would have been six pins. But. How far are you shooting out there? Like are, at least on the course that you were on. I shot the Yeti. So it was, I don't know. It's like. They said 45 to, I want to say 80 or something, but yeah. there was definitely an elk, a bedded elk at like 98. Did you hit it? No. No, I didn't. You, would you, were you low or high? I was low. So my, it, I could see that. My single pin can only put onto like 82 without the fletching sitting in the housing. Oh. So I'll just aim and high, play the wind. I think you can it. adjust it to, to account for that. You can adjust. I forgot. It's been a long time. You mess with your how your sight is. I forgot what you do. I'm sure somebody let us know. I that way we can I get you out of range. No. Farther than he, he so what you far. threw? You threw 82 on the top of his back or what? Uh, I threw it up about a, about a foot above its back. It was still about six inches low. Did you take a follow up shot? No. No one. We were all stacked up, man. There were so many. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna blame the group in front of us. Yeah. They. I mean, you could tell. They're a little bit more serious. You know, they got the flip book with the, the 3D targets you know, that says where to shoot and all this, that, and the other. Did they have a book there for you? No. They came with their own? They came with their own. It means you know they were serious about it, right? But yeah. they were like, they are taking their damn sweet time on every single shot. Yeah. And it's almost like they were hunting. Like, yeah. Shh, hey, quiet, quiet. Hey, oh, it's like a golf scenario. I'm like, come on. You, should, you, you like, should appreciate that you're a golfer. We literally had like two or three groups on one target waiting to shoot because of these dinks in front of us. Would they take a practice swing? <laughs> <sighs> did they like, did they, they, one, they did. One of them was full draw, ready to shoot. He let down. Every so time? He, like shook his arm out, drew it back again. And was just. Do you think they like that just, more oh than hunting? I don't, it's probably just a competitive, you know, you know, getting out there and shooting at a target. But it was just like, come on, guys. You got, you're stacking up. Let's go. My thing with when we shoot 3D <clears throat> is that I go in and I usually tell everybody that I only do it for hunting. You know, like mm. that's the only reason. But then when we get there, I just want to shoot better than you. Like that's more <laughs> that important to me than that. Yeah. That that's that's what when I get there, I feel like I could I could I can understand it maybe. But with the pocketbook, did they have the pocket quiver? Oh yeah. One they were there. Things? Oh yeah. Full full quiver. Full and maybe full full sending. Well, good for them. Yeah, good for them. Well, speaking of which, we've got an event coming up that we should probably, I want to tell the world about, this is exciting for us because um, last year we couldn't do it, COVID. I got, some, just dinner. I got some dinner in my shirt. What are you eating there, buddy? Just grab some. Uh, a little, Dust? A little frosting. What kind of frosting? Cake. Cake? cake? I'm a cake guy. Must be freaking nice. Yeah. Um. So two years ago, we did a, a 3D shoot here in <laughs> We did the, uh, here in Michigan and Rockford. Um, wow, you really now it just is a wet shirt. Now it's just, no, it. just a wet spot. And it's a white. It's those dark around that. Just like a zit. Yes, yeah, it shirt. It looks nice. You're ruining your good Yeti. Is it Yeti? Oh, yeah, Yeti shirt. Anyways, um, two years ago we did a uh, archery shoot, 
uh, didn't really promote it that much and had actually a great showing. So we were going to do it last year and try to promote it more, get some other co companies involved. And uh, unfortunately, COVID kind of shut that whole thing down. Yeah. So we're back this year. We're, uh, we're back. Mm -hmm. Rockford. Rockford, West Michigan Archery Center. Yeah. So in two weeks, it'll be about, actually about, is it two weeks already? Two weeks, like that. Yeah. J uh, July 10, when this goes out, just know July 10. Um, we're going to be getting out there with, uh, hunt wise. We'll be there. Uh, prime, I think is sending somebody. We're not sure. Mm -hmm. uh, Vector custom arrows. Um, we've got some stuff from Scentlock coming out, nice. uh, Oz. So the ozone generator stuff, mm -hmm. which is cool. I've, I've not used that ever. Um, and vortex vortex is, is going to send some stuff mm -hmm. out. Who else? HHA. HHA. So what we're going to do is we're doing a, 3d course yep however many targets that is i never remember. i think it's 20 last year or sorry two years ago it was 25 targets okay 25 targets and you guys can come and take it as seriously as you want mm -hmm. or not we're not going i'm not going to i'm just going to try to have the best kill shot is how i approach it and so you guys can go for 10 rings or whatever you want that's fine um but the all these other companies that i mentioned are sending stuff and we're going to have a prize pot a, a prize shot if you will prize shot prize shot you you get you pay a couple bucks all proceeds for this prize shot go to the pope and young <laughs> club and uh you get entered in to take a couple shots at this uh this target if you get it in this said area designated area which we're gonna uh we're nailing down but um it, it was gonna be a was it gonna be a moose i'm not sure what the animal will be at this point it depends on uh, delivery times for rhino car targets because mm. they're behind anyways it'll be something cool and it'll be a specified thing uh, when you get there if you hit it you'll be entered to win um drawn out of a hat at the end of the day uh this cool archery package oh long range is going to be there oh yeah, so yeah bow yeah. shot yeah, anywhere forget one. i know vector the cool thing about vector is that they are sending arrow they're going to be there with the booth shooting their arrows at cow shoulders Mm. our femurs cow bone and they're going to be showing <laughs> some big bone i'm like i think well, it's you ever a gotta shoot an animal in the leg yeah you're this good will do it. it won't break so they're going to be showing how tough their arrows i think they're throwing some g5 uh tips on and, and it'll be cool um long range will be there with the booth as well i'm not sure if they're going to be doing bow work i would imagine they would um and so i i think you whoever's listening to this ought to think about coming mm-hmm because last time it was really fun. We met everybody. It was we, a lot of fun. Yeah, we sat. We sit at a uh, target, and we just kind of hang out. We'll shoot with guys that kind of pass through. That way we can meet everybody. Um, which is I always that's that's my favorite. We were there from last time. From like we got there at like six or seven. It was an early get. Yeah, and we just hung out and shot all day. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have my recurve and my compound this time in case someone walks through with a. a stick oh yeah, well, and... or just I, you got to switch. I like to do every other. That way you're not, uh, you know, locked in on one. So uh, we'll be there. We're going to be at a, um, a different hole and you can come hang a out. Hole. Or it's holes now? It's whatever. I'm thinking golf, a hey, target. Yeah, whatever. Um, we're going to pick something cool though. So last, last, last year, time, last time it was, we were at a, was it a bedded elk? Yes. At 55 yards. Yeah. We were just playing it. Yeah. I had it a couple of times. There's a couple good long shots. A lot of, it's, West Michigan Archery Center is one of our favorite 3D courses in the area. Yeah. And it's just. It's the, quiet yep, and nice. It's quiet, great group of guys, great location. Um, so if you actually, if you miss tech this year, like James did. This yeah. Is the this is how time. I make up for it. This is how you make up for it. You get out, enjoy the outdoors. You can meet other hunters. You can meet us. You can. The shots won't be as long. You can talk to the reps. You, you know? can talk to the reps and, and get entered to win stuff. And yeah, we got a lot of free stuff to give away yeah cool stuff. so we're excited for it um and like i said this is happening and then following this there's some really big stuff uh coming out uh and so we're really excited to share that with you but in the meantime uh we hope you come uh, if you're in the area otherwise keep listening to our episodes and look forward to some cool stuff coming thanks guys